Hello everyone, welcome back to Rock. Happy to see you guys back. Today I want to do a video on Korean beauty and I'm watching Olympics a lot and watching all of these really young, beautiful people from all over the world who are um, have incredible skin care. Some of them don't, but a lot of them have beautiful skin care. And part of it probably is, especially the ones the Asian countries, people who are living in Seoul and, and Pyeongchang, they probably are doing a lot of the, the um, affordable kind of fun things that are out in K-beauty products that we think of as a whole exotic type thing when actually in, in some parts of, of Korea they feel like that's kind of a, a cheapy kind of kind of fun thing for kids or who can't afford a lot of fancy stuff. So there's still uh, there's still a lot of room in, in Seoul and places like that for a lot of um, really high-end skincare and high-end products but still there's definitely I'm sure people that are using the, the, the K-beauty products. So I'm using products as far as the um, 8 to 10 step Korean beauty routine which is kind of a long one and it's pretty cool, so I'm gonna go ahead and, and um, go through these as fast as I can because it takes a long time and, you know, I wanna get back to my Olympics. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with my um, bill cleansing part of it. And this is a solid balm from Clinique. Clinique has a huge installation in, in Seoul. It has a huge installation in um, Kuala Lumpur, all kinds of places my husband's been to. He's been in Dubai, they're, they're all over the place. So because my makeup is really like heavy on my eyes, it's gonna take a little bit longer to kind of like soften up the product there and get the mascara loosened up a little bit. And this really is good for the entire face. Dirty, all dirty. <laughs> so this is basically step one. I'm going to use a cotton round here and saturate. I do have a few products that are actually made in Korea that I wanted to show you. And they're pretty cool. They have some cool ingredients in them. It's very interesting how they um, decide what's going to be a um, like science behind it. We don't really have the same science that, um, that we can read about, learn about, like they do in, in um, Korea. It's just a little different anyway. So it's, it's hard for me to understand how they how they make things happen in those products and how they sell those products. But if you like try out some snail secretion filtrate, which is snail slime on your face. I have products here I'll show you in a, in a little bit. This is just another cleansing wipe. Just take off any, any more of the, the oils on the skin. And then my second step for cleansing, because you want to double cleanse, and I don't really have a sink handy, I'm going to go ahead and use my micellar water. So micellar water basically is a, it's a liquid. It's almost like, it's, it's watery. It's, it's um, light and watery. But basically it has little things called micelles. They're little capsules that hold a teeny bit of oil in them. And the oils in there will basically um, remove the makeup beautifully and also give you additional proper cleansing. So taking this off, this is actually the Garnier, if I didn't show you already, this is the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Water. So I'm going to take off more, now that my makeup has softened up a little bit, I'm able to get the liner off and the shadow. both eyes. Usually at home I just kind of hold, hold my eye for a while. I just kind of talk to my husband for a little while in the bathroom and and just kind of like let it all soften. This mascara is pretty long wearing. And then our next step is going to be an exfoliator. You only need to exfoliate really probably twice a week but I'm going to go ahead and, and use a granular cleanser. This is a Clinique cleanser. It's actually a, a SPF or not a stupid, it's a, it's a um, 5% vitamin C. I'm going to put this on my hand. I'll just use half the, half the packet like that just to save a little bit of, of time removing it. I'll add some water to it. This one has a bunch of different things in there, but it's, it's a granular one, so it's kind of softer. It was the closest thing I had to a K-Beauty. I can smell the vitamin C right now. <laughs> K-Beauty exfoliant. The little granules start off to exfoliate a little bit. They get really soft. They're not really rough and tough. And ideally, if we had time, I would leave it on for 
five minutes, ten minutes like that. Could last a one minute is actually fine, but it's kind of like leave things out a little bit longer. And now that I have that on my skin, I would normally let it, let it sit for longer so that my vitamin C was going to go into the skin and work on my elastin and my collagen, make my skin look smoother and softer. Um, but again, I, I want to kind of get things done so I can go to bed and finish my Olympics actually. So that's that. So that's that's and it feels really soft and all that. You probably don't even need to cleanse it off, but because there is some of the um, I can't remember what that that one ingredient is in there that's in there. I think it's um. It's kind of like a clay kind of thing, kale and clay. There's kale and clay to suck up oil and shine, so that's what you want to get, get off. So to rehydrate my skin and to also help re remove some of whatever's left in the skin, I'm going to use my moisture surge from Clinique again and just kind of spray this down and just kind of rehydrate everything. There we go. I'll use a lot so I can kind of rinse this way. And of course, if you're in a bathroom with a sink, you'd have a lot more um, water available to do this. And that basically is your exfoliant so that you also, um, instead of doing like a toner type thing, this is kind of like, a, this is like kind of like the toner if you're, if, you're, if you're in these kind of steps as far as the, the, the Korean kind of system. And then Essence is really a big deal. So Essence basically is another way to strengthen your skin, have um, products in the skin or in the product that, that um, like fermented products again, that help your skin make better collagen elastin again. So it's a strengthening lotion. And this is one from Estee Lauder. So we'll take a little dab of this. Put some, some splashes out of the bottle in my hand. And this you just kind of press into your skin. This is not toner. It's basically just another pr product to lock in hydration. You want to just gotta press it in. And next up would be a serum or a booster moisturizer of some sort of booster um, extra products. So I'm going to use my Smart Serum from Clinique, which is my favorite of all time. So this one works on four key signs of aging. I'm going to use two pumps of this. Candy here. So we're really soft and hydrated. The next step would be a sheet mask. I'm trying to decide whether I should do it or if I should wait until later on so I can sit in bed and have it actually soak into my skin. But I'll tell you a little bit more while I'm actually while I'm here while I'm doing so I'll tell you a little bit more about couple products that I do like a lot. So the, um, and as far as the sheet masks, there's a lot of cool things that are in these products. A product called Nano Gum is on here, which you can't see because it's really small. Nano Gum is a soybean curd. It's soybean, ferment, fermented soybeans. And somehow it's, um, it's, it looks gross and it's gooey and it's kind of snaily like, but it's not made of snails, it's just made of soy. But it, um, on your skin, it's so soft. I remember buying, buying one of these packets, and this is the Dramactin TS. Um, when I, and there's my little bump, my little dog is behind me here. Um, they, um, what I was going to say, I got distracted when you guys come over and talk to me. There's my spike again. There's my spike. Anyway, so basically the, the nano gum is, it's kind of, you can eat it actually, it's edible. It, it looks really gross and it, you can eat it with chopsticks and all that. Um, but it's better to put it, I think, on your skin because it makes the skin so, so soft. So I did my whole face one time. And I did my, um, after I used my sheet mask, I took it off. After 20 minutes, I took it, I left it on for a long time, put it on my chest, waited like 15 minutes. It was still got like lots of hydration down there, lifted it off. Like, what do I do with this, this, the sheet? So I went back and I, I rubbed all of my arms and my arms were so soft and so smooth. So really it's a, it's, now gum is very, very cool. It's, it's a strange ingredient, but it's, it's pretty cool. So we also have, um, like glycerin, arbutin helps fade brown spots, um, cutica grantum, I think that's a, I don't remember what kind of um, fruit extract that is. Papaya is a is an enzyme that helps kind of turn over the skin cells. Rose water, green tea, um, Morris alba bark extract. But beta glucan is an anti-inflammatory kind of calming thing. It's also in uh, oatmeal if you're eating oatmeal. <laughs> um, Alantuana is a soother. Panthenol is really good for you. Tocopherol acetate is vitamin E. Castor oil. So there's a lot of great things in here. I have more masks over here. These are all these are all actually from Korea. So I have the um, pomegranate lime, and this is the brightening gel mask. 
put a coconut pineapple and a hydrating cream formula. There's a soothing cream mask, blueberry yogurt. And there's the purifying mask, the clay mask, and um, avocado oatmeal. So that's the other one I have there. So those are the ones that I, um, I do like to use. And um, a couple of them are, are creamy ones. A couple of them are, are um, sheet masks. So now I'm going to go ahead and go and do go back to say, I already did that part of it. I'm going to go ahead and do my eye area now. This is a essence, not essence, this is actually a eye matrix from Estee Lauder. And it's really designed to kind of um, make the eye area smoother and softer and kind of correct the um, signs of aging around the eye area. So all you really do is just kind of go in there and roll it around a little bit. Just kind of keep the circulation going around the eye area. And then once you get to the next area, there'll still be enough product there. You'll, you can blend it out and make it really soft and smooth and hydrated and blend it in. So we'll do that as well. And I just use like your ring finger and just um, kind of pat in place. The tapping motions actually do help penetrate product deeper into the skin. Oh no, no barking, you guys. I didn't close my, my, my drapes in my front room, so I think they're seeing the neighbors and all that. So my last product I have is a really cool product. This is actually um, from Amazon. This is a Myzen Snail Secretion Filtrate. Quiet, stop. So snail secretion filtrate, sorry, <laughs> is basically um, when snails walk across a little piece of glass in a, in, a, in, a, in a laboratory, they leave behind this gooey stuff. And then the, the snails are fine, the snails can come back to eat, have more snacks and go on another, another little, little ride on their little, 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 little plate things. And all of the, the, the um, gooey stuff that comes off on, on the tray, they let, let it dry overnight, they dehydrate it, they blend it all together and they put it into a Korean cream. This is by Myzen. It's called All-in-One Snail Repair Cream. It's a um, concentration of 92% snail extract and it has a bit of a glycolic acid eff effect in the in the product and it's really good. So I do like this a lot and I will just show you. I've, got, I've gotten ha halfway down here with this one here. Uh, I've got a lot of products to play with so I do kind of play around quite a bit but this is just a really nice one and it makes my skin feel just really glowy and pretty the next morning. So speaking of snail secretion filtrate, that's the gooey stuff that comes out of the snail. Um, it's also in an SPF that's very widely available in Ulta. And that is the Cosmetics CC Cream, Full Coverage Cream, SPF 50. And this has a um, the highest amount, I, I, lost, I lost the box, I tossed the box I think finally, but it, the highest ingredient they have on here is snail secretion filtrate. So basically you're getting a lot of that snail, snail secretion, which is, is proteins, healing, um, plumping as far as collagen and elastin. It does, like, it's, it's just almost everything, it seems like. It's one of those things that everybody claims is, is so awesome, and it probably is. And I do own that, obviously, and I just, I, this is the one in fair. So I like that one a lot. I won't do that tonight because I'm sleeping pretty soon here. But anyway, so that's going to be my um, my skincare for the day. So you can see my, I have lots of freckles and all that, but my skin looks pretty good for, I think I'm doing pretty well for my age anyway. So tomorrow I'll do a video in the morning, and I'll do a, um, Kind of an edited kind of list of things when I do my my um, video in the morning for for work. So thanks a lot for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed my video and definitely um, check out the the Winter Olympics before they're over. There's a lot of fun things going on there and it's just a really fun um, thing to do in the holiday when it's kind of cold and it's, you can cozy, cozy up with your with your family and your dogs and your and I like candles so it's like you know feel like it was snowy outside so it's, it's just kind of fun. So thanks a lot for watching. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye bye.